welcome to sunil engineering academy friends this is bharat and we are seeing this is the third video in the biology series our first video is our vitamins and deficiencies and our second video is photosynthesis and this is the third video in third video we are going to discuss cell and its structures we are going to see the organelles in the cell and also its functions what is a cell cell is the basic structural and functional unit of life cell is made up of life giving substance called protoplasm friends protoplasm we are going to see what is protoplasm protoplasm as of now is contains liquid okay friends and it is made up of carbon nitrogen oxygen and hydrogen friends okay and 80% of protoplasm is of water cell and see friends here you can see here in my pdf or in my explanation if you come across any star marked one liners and they have it, it signifies that they have potential to come in the exam potential to come in the exam so you have to give special attention for this star marked one liners friends okay hope you got it see friends the cell was discovered and also coined by robert hook in 1665 ad friends the study of structure of composition of cells the study of cells and its composition and its structures and what are its functions and these all put together this study is put together called as cytology you have to remember this friends after discovery and coin of the name cell by robert hook the cell theory was propounded by matthias matthias schleden and theodor schwann matthias schleden and theodor schwann friends and the the cell theory is propounded by them the main i have given main four points which features the cell theory the first one is all living organisms are composed of one or more cells the cell is the basic unit of structure whatever may be the structure whether it is living or non living animal plant animal plants whatever it may be cell is the basic unit of structure and they say that cell arises from pre existing cell thus one cell has come up from the other cell and they also say that the theory says that every organism starts its life from single cell see friends the Uh, animals which comes from egg egg is a yolk of an egg is a single cell from this single cell the whole animal living being has come in this uh, that these things are propounded in this cell theory friends rodolf virchow was the first to explain that cells divide and new cells are formed from the pre existing cells if organisms are made up of single cell they are called unicellular organisms example amoeba you know that if organisms organisms are made up of few cells that is with few cells it can form algae fungus to several millions millions of cells for human being trees whale and these all these all have several millions and billions of cells the cells vary widely in size and shape the largest cell see friends i have given star mark for this so these are potential questions in the exam the largest cell of all is the yolk of an ostrich egg the smallest cell is mycoplasma galeseptikum the smallest cell is mycoplasma galeseptikum the longest cell in the human body see friends you have to note that it is only in the human body 
the longest cell is neuron the longest cell is neuron friends if you come to types of cells the cell in an organism can be of three types friends undifferentiated cells differentiated cells and de differentiated cells what is undifferentiated cells the cell which are capable of undergoing division and development example stem cells and merismatic cells the other definition for this is friends in undifferentiated cell these are the early embryonic stage cells these are general cells in all and these can be modified into differentiated cells by sending an electric signal or these general purpose cells are capable of doing any kind of job but but they have to be directed by some signal or chemical reaction friends okay as of now we have to remember that undifferentiated cells are cap capable of undergoing division and development they are found in the early embryonic stage cells and merismatic cells what are differentiated cells these are also called spe specialized cells what does it mean these are ordained to do a specific function they acquire a distinct character and perform a definite function friends so usually from embryonic stage which is undifferentiated cell after multiplying into several cells a group of cells will be ordained to specific function suppose from embryonic stage there will be multiplication of uh, many cells and a group of cells from there will be divided to form a heart and other set of cells will will form liver something like that that stage what are the group of cells which are ordained to form heart or differentiated cells okay friends in rbc cells carry out suppose if we take rbc cells which carry out transportation of oxygen and carbon dioxide and these are specialized to do only that job okay friends this is the different difference between the undifferentiated and differentiated cells undifferentiated stage will comes first and the differentiated stage comes later okay friends the reversal of differentiated to undifferentiated see so going back from differentiate specified to general purpose cells is called de differentiated cells it is simple friends some differentiated cells are capable of reverting back to the undifferentiated stage and these kind of cells which can which are capable of going back to the undifferentiated stage these are called de differentiated cells from specialized cells to previous that is merismatic cells in plants and stem cells whenever it is required friends and differentiated cells comes first and second comes the differentiated cells these are general purpose these are general purpose cells and these are specified specified specialized cells and de differentiated cell is nothing but these differentiated cells goes back to the general purpose cells and those cells are called de differentiated cells friend what is organ systems see friends we are going to see in the forthcoming videos 
and several systems like skeletal system, nervous system, digestive system, reproductive system, circulatory system and many systems as such. See friends and these organ system constitutes several organs in the sense several organs come together to form an organ system. For example digestive system. In this we have organs like stomach, pancreas, intestines, throat, mouth and etc. See what are organs? Organ consists, constitutes of several tissues jointly forms a organ. See friends, tissues jointly forms an organ like in liver, kidney, leaf, root etc. And what is tissue? See, tissues jointly forms an organ. What is tissue? A group of cells having common origin and performing in a similar but specific function. See, group of cells come together and perform a similar and specific function called a tissue. For example, if you take a muscle tissue, muscle it contracts at a at a time. All the all the cells within the tissue contracts or expands, respirates. Everything will be done in the simultaneous way. Okay, friends, and these functions, these specific functions by all the common group of cells come together we say that it is a tissue friends okay friends till now we have seen what is a cell history of cell it is a cell theory and types of cells and now we are going to we have come to the very important part that is structure of a cell a cell has following organelles organelles are the components in the cell friends first one is cell wall this cell wall is only present in plant cell friends it is absent in animals okay friends cell wall is a non-living and freely permeable what is permeable salt and water can go i mean can be intercepted inside the cell wall it can go inside and out it is called permeable friends okay this not only star marked one liner cell wall is made up of cellulose in plants and in fungi the cell wall is made up of chitin friends the cell wall of bacteria and cell wall of bacteria is made up of peptidoglycan which is also called murine okay friends see friends i have gathered this all this information from various sources and you there is no need to go anywhere to read again friends that's that's what we have talked yesterday with sunil sir sunil sir has completed uh, physics topic completely in an extensive manner there is no need to go to other source to need to read physics only how to do is that you have to practice some one-liners or MCQs, friends. That's it. And biology is also, I have covered extensively this topic, friends. In the same way, I am going to complete the biology. And slowly, for Sunil sir has started, uh, started chemistry also. So, our channel that is sunil engineering academy channel has become a one-stop solution for physics biology and chemistry and no need to study any other material friends we are also providing pdfs go to the fb page which is given in the link is given in the description box you can go like the page and you can you can search the pdf and download there wait friends first listen to this video don't rush to the a description box later you can first you listen to this video after the explanation you can go to the description box and download the PDF friends okay
the second organelle is cell membrane here you can see the plasma membrane the outer line of the the outer line of the cell or outer wall of the cell we can we can call it as plasma membrane plasma membrane will be the outer membrane of the cell for plants the cell wall will be the outer membrane within the cell wall the next comes the plasma membrane in plants in plant cell whereas in animal cell plasma membrane will be the outer cover friends okay cell membrane cell membrane is also called as plasma membrane the outer covering of our animal cell which is found within the cell wall in the plant cell which i have explained this cell membrane is thin elastic living double layered permeable membrane friends okay i have said what is permeable it can it can allow uh, the it can allow the elements to go through them it is made up of cell membrane is made up of phospholipid molecules what is the function of the cell membrane cell membrane regulates the movement of molecules inside and outside of the cell these friends this is permeable membrane just like a filter okay friends but it regulates the movement of the molecules if it is needed it it sends the molecules outside in the same way it absorbs from the outside friends this is the function of the cell membrane and the third one is protoplasm i have said earlier what is protoplasm here the protoplasm within the plasma membrane is called what is protoplasm i have explained earlier protoplasm is nothing but the liquid or fluid present inside the plasma membrane actually the protoplasm name is given by purkenje in 1839 the protoplasm see friends where does this protoplasm this all the free space here 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 all this free space is filled by protoplasm friends and here you have to note that this is nuclear membrane the outside membrane is plasma membrane friends between this nuclear membrane and plasma membrane the space between nuclear membrane and plasma membrane is filled by the fluid called cytoplasm cytoplasm the protoplasm which is also a protoplasm protoplasm inside plasma membrane and outside nuclear membrane is called cytoplasm and the protoplasm inside the nucleus here inside the nucleus membrane sorry inside the nucleus membrane is called nucleoplasm which is called nucleoplasm here it is called cytoplasm it is called cytoplasm and inside it is called nucleoplasm friends inside the nucleus it is called nucleoplasm and this protoplasm constitutes oxygen of 76% carbon 10% hydrogen 10% and small amount of nitrogen protoplasm consists of oxygen carbon hydrogen and nitrogen and 80% of protoplasm is of water that is why protoplasm is called physical basis of life remember friends in the starting we have seen this point protoplasm theory it is given by skulls okay friends this skulls said that said propound out the protoplasm theory he said that physical basis of life see life life means it should have cell this cell if it wants to have life 
it should have protoplasm that's what he said okay friends next we will see the nucleus friends we will see the nucleus here within the cell this is called nucleus nucleus has two components mainly which is blue in color it is called nucleolus and other fiber like structures here and there are called chromatin friends these are called chromatin these are made up of chromatin and the fluid inside the or the protoplasm inside the nucleus is called nucleoplasm let us see the nucleus nucleus is discovered by robert brown in 1831 on what is the shape of this nucleus nucleus is spherical in shape as it is centrally located in all cells except in plant cells it is located towards the periphery it's not that it should be only in the periphery it can move anywhere and mostly it is found in the periphery periphery in the sense in the edges friends okay in animal cell it is uh, sure that it is at the cent it is centrally located nucleus is centrally located in the all animal cells it is peripherally located in the plant cells it is bounded by double layered nuclear membrane and has two chief components they are chromatin material which are fibrous like material which i have shown earlier and nucleolus which is in blue in color in nucleoplasm in the nucleoplasm nucleoplasm is a protoplasm within the nucleus friends what is chromatin material is the thin thread like it is the thin thread like structure forming network it is kind of a network okay friends which is made up of thread like thin thread like structures friends and it has it is made up of genetic material that is dna chromatin material has dna what is dna deoxy ribonucleic acid friends and histone protein so chromatin material is made up of genetic material that is dna deoxy ribonucleic acid and histone protein histone protein friends during cell division chromatin break to form breaks to form chromosomes contains genes usually this chromatin material can be seen at the time of division of cells a chromosomes you know that uh, it contains mainly it carries the genes it carries the genes to from parent material to the child material the second main component that we can see is nucleolus friends the second material that we can see is a nucleolus it is rich in protein and rna you have to note this friends uh, chromatin material has dna deoxyribonucleic acid whereas nucleolus has rna ribonucleic acid what are the functions of nucleus usually nucleus controls it's like a uh, it's 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 a brain brain of the cell or we can say it is the control room of the cell Nu star market friends nucleus are also known as control room of the cell and chromatin transmits hereditary characters that is it has genes right these genes has hereditary characters it it is transferred from parent cell to the child cell one parent cell to the two child cells this chromatin at the time of splitting it con converts it into chromosomes which has genes genes has hereditary characters and from and these chromosomes divide from parents to the offspring friends and another important is other than nucleus dna is also found it is extra information which has given don't think that dna is only present in the chromatin dna is also found in mitochondria and chloroplast friends
other than in nucleus dna dioxy ribonucleic acid is not only found in nucleus but also it it is found in mitochondria and chloroplast chloroplast is present only in plants friends chloroplast is present only in plants remember friends in plants cell wall is present chloroplast is present okay friends and these are absent in the animal cell mitochondria is present both in animal cell and plant cell okay friends now we will see what is mitochondria mitochondria also contains dna which we have discussed earlier present in nucleus and chloroplast okay friends which is important very very important very important friends mitochondria is discovered by altman in the year 1886 and these are cylindrical in structure it is rod shaped or spherical shaped see friends here in cell the mitochondria is here mitochondria there is no definite shape but it is it is it has the spherical shape or rod shaped okay friends but they are cylindrical in structure something like you can expect from uh, from baseball bat to uh, rugby ball okay friends it is of it is miniature form of baseball bat or a rugby ball friends these are cylindrical in structure and rod shaped or spherical shaped friends mitochondria is present in cytoplasm which i have shown earlier okay friends protoplasm between cytoplasm what is by cytoplasm you know which is between the cell membrane and the nuclear membrane it is surrounded by double layered membrane mitochondria is uh, surrounded by double layered membrane inner membrane has many fold and is called cristae okay friends fluid enzymes present inside mitochondria is called matrix which contains enzymes and coenzymes friends what are the functions of mitochondria this bit is very very important mitochondria is called powerhouse of the it is called powerhouse of the cell friends this is very very important bit function function of mito mitochondria is the respiratory site for cellular respiration in which energy is synthesized into rich compound atp adenosine triphosphate atp is the it's a currency of energy friends in the cell we can say in in india rupees is the currency of money in the same way if you want to give energy from one organel to the another organel or one cell to the other, another cell what is the exchange media is nothing but the currency we will say currency it is it is atp atp is adenosine triphosphate it is the of energy cells we can say that okay mitochondria is the respiratory site usually this is the respiratory site where it synthesizes the rich compound of atp as it is synthesizing this currency it is called powerhouse of the cell so mitochondria is the place where energy is synthesized next we are going to see lysosome lysosome is discovered by de duve uh, lysosome secretes hydrolytic enzymes to digest food it is called digestive digestive bags see friends the enzymes see each and every organel secretes something some enzymes here the lysosomes secretes enzymes which can digest the organelles itself which can uh, digest the food 
so it is called it is sac like structure friends these li lysosomes are sac like structure sac is like something like bag so these lysosomes are called digestive bags lysosome is in a cell if that cell is dead it can consume the whole cell and digest it so it is also called suicidal bags of the cell the sac like structure single membrane bounded lysosome may digest entire cell see friends it can digest entire it can digest entire cell so it is called as suicidal bags of the cell what are what organelles are called suicidal bags of the cell lysosomes it is very very important even i have seen many questions in several exams on lysosomes asking which are the suicidal bags of the cell friends so bit is come uh, you can see that lysosomes is not present in rbcs of mammal in rbcs of mammal this lysosomes is absent you have to note this next we can see ribosomes ribosomes are discovered by pellet it is discovered by pellet what are ribosomes see friends ribosomes are attached here in cell you can see you can see the red dots which is connected to the this organelle this long shaped organelle friends this long shaped organelle some red dots are connected to this long shaped organelle this long shaped organelle is called endoplasmic reticulum and this dots are called ribosomes these can be attached to the endoplasmic reticulum or it can also be free in the cytoplasm okay friends it can also be free in the cytoplasm or can exist by sticking to the endoplasmic reticulum if this endoplasmic reticulum is connected with the ribosomes then it is called rough endoplasmic reticulum here in the upper part you can see that this endoplasmic reticulum is free from ribosomes these are called smooth endoplasmic reticulum so it is not mandatory that ribosomes should be always stick to the endoplasmic reticulum it can also stay free friends ribosomes are discovered by g g dot e dot pellet ribosomes contains rna rna we have seen rna is also in the nucleolus nucleolus is inside the nucleus rna is in nucleolus as well as in ribosomes see friends i have said that these ribosomes can stay these small granule like structure found attached to the endoplasmic reticulum which is a long shaped organelle or these ribosomes can stay free in free state also uh, these take part these ribosomes usually the function of ribosomes is to synthesis proteins friends okay now we will see the endoplasmic reticulum endoplasmic reticulum membranous network see friends this is this is kind of a network which extends in the cytoplasm friends of tubules like structure found in cytoplasm it is attached with the nucleus on one side and plasma membrane on the other side friends you can see see friends this is endoplasmic reticulum this endoplasmic reticulum can extend from nucleus membrane this is nucleus membrane to plasma membrane this is plasma membrane so this acts like a network 
for this nucleus for this nucleus to control the cell friends it is kind of a network it it covers almost almost some most part of the cell and it acts like a network to control the whole cell by the nucleus friends by the nucleus so endoplasmic reticulum membranous network of tubules like structures found in the cytoplasm it is attached with the nucleus on one side and plasma membrane on the other side it acts as a supporting framework of cell by giving mechanical support to the cytoplasmic matrix we call it cyto see friends this is not just a network but we can say if, if you take a structure if you if you build a big stadium kind of thing first of all they will they will build the steel structure which is a skeletal structure which gives a mechanical support for the the whole stadium in the same way here in cell this endoplasmic reticulum this endoplasmic reticulum gives mechanical support to the whole cell in that whole cell in that skeletal system which acts as a framework all the organelles are placed here and there okay friends it it not only provides mechanical support but also synthesizes proteins we will see that there are two types of endoplasmic reticulum or of two types rough endoplasmic reticulum and smooth endoplasmic reticulum which i have explained earlier the if the ribo ribosomes are attached to the endoplasmic reticulum then it is called rough endoplasmic reticulum and together ribosomes and endoplasmic reticulum together synthesizes proteins in smooth endoplasmic reticulum and these ribosomes are absent these ribosomes are absent and this smooth endoplasmic reticulum secretes lipids and steroids friends uh, these steroids are not in what what we see in the market but it is the it is the organic material which is produced within the cell friends okay this is organic steroids which is produced within the within the cell so a rough endoplasmic reticulum along with ribosome synthesizes proteins and these protein molecules synthesized are collected at the endoplasmic endoplasmic reticulous membrane in the sacs called cisternae see friends the membrane membrane on the double double layered membrane on the endoplasmic reticulum is called cistern which collects the protein which is synthesized by endoplasmic reticulum and ribosome okay friends these proteins are transported by lumen friends or cisternal space between the i have said that this endoplasmic membrane has is double layered and between this double layer cisternal space will be present and it is also called lumen which transport the proteins within the endoplasmic reticulum in cytoplasm proteins are transferred to cell membrane through small bubbles called vesicle vesicle if it if this endoplasmic reticulum reaches the cell membrane then protein is supplied from nucleus to the cell membrane if it doesn't reach this uh, this endoplasmic reticulum is not uh, couldn't able to transfer then these proteins are given to the vesicle vesicle which is of small bubble like structures inside the cytoplasm 
and these are called vesicles these vesicles will reach by carrying the proteins it can reach to golgi complex or cell membrane friends it is called sarcoplasmic sarcoplasmic reticulum which releases calcium 2 plus ions to muscle cells when they are active and working the other type of sarco sarcoplasmic reticulum is also present i have given this which is not in the actual uh, this is an extra point which i have given uh, what is the organelle which gives calcium ions to the muscle cells sarcoplasmic reticulum now we will see golgi complex discovered by camillo golgi okay friends he he named after his name itself <laughs> okay friends he found an uh, organelle discovered an organelle in within the cell and named after him which is called golgi complex named by camillo golgi made up of tubes vesicles and vacuoles in plant it is more in number and are called you have to remember this friends it is called dictyosomes in the plant cell in plant cell golgi complex is also called dictyosomes what are its functions it functions are collection storage processing and packaging of materials it is kind of packaging industry functions what 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 does the what are the functions of golgi complex golgi complex collects the protein secretion stores it process it and package it okay friends it collects proteins secretion from the endoplasmic reticulum earlier i have said friends the from endoplasmic reticulum if it is possible endoplasmic reticulum produces protein a protein and transport it to the cell membrane if it is not possible then it gives to vesicles these vesicles are small bubble like structures within the cytoplasm these bubbles go to the cell membrane or reaches the golgi complex if it reaches the golgi complex which is carrying the protein secretion these protein secretions are collected and processed packaged and stored in the golgi complex see what are the functions of golgi complex golgi complex collects the protein secretion from the endoplasmic reticulum it is also involved in the synthesis of cell wall see friends this cell wall is synthesized by the golgi complex it it not only synthesizes cell wall by using the proteins but also plasma membrane and lysosomes these cell wall plasma membrane and lysosomes are synthesized with the help of golgi complex friends okay golgi complex synthesizes carbohydrates from simple sugar okay friends which combined with protein made by ribosomes forming glycoprotein see friends from ribosomes you will get some protein and golgi complex have some simple sugar and both and these uh, with this simple sugar it synthesizes carbohydrates and protein it combines the protein which is made made by ribosomes this carbohydrates and proteins are combined to form glycoprotein usually you know that simple sugar is nothing but glyco glucose and this glucose glucose plus protein forms glycoprotein friends and next we are going to see vacuoles what are vacuoles it is a fluid it is fluid filled a single membrane bounded dead organelles of a cell 
you can see another dead organelle which is a cell wall here vacuoles is also a dead friends in plant cell it is larger in size but in animal cell it is smaller in size vacuole store usually the, as it is as it is dead organelle we can store toxic metabolic waste during metabolism that there, there are some toxic toxins which is released and these toxins are placed in the vacuoles okay friends vacuoles and also helps in osmoregulation what is osmoregulation osmoregulation is nothing but osmotic pressure maintenance this osmotic pressure within the cell should be maintained this osmotic pressure can be maintained by controlling the salt and water concentration by altering the water concentration or salt concentration we can maintain the or otherwise vacuole can maintain the osmotic pressure in the cell water centrosome is discovered by boveri Centro centrosomes found only in animal cell and this centrosome takes part in the cell division of the animal cell it is not bounded by centrioles in plants and most fungi organ organizes microtubules regulates cell division okay friends we will see all this uh, all these organelles in the diagram here we can see golgi complex here we can see golgi complex and these are called vacuoles which are dead cells which has uh, metabolic toxin waste and controls osmotic pressure and these are lysosomes suicidal bags of the cell and these are centrioles these are centrioles friends remember the diagram these centrioles constitutes inside the centrosome friends it is discovered by boveri it is found only in animal cell and takes part in the cell division and in plants and some fungi centrosome is not bounded by centrioles okay friends this centrosome is not bound by the centrioles it organizes the microtubules regulates cell division friends it regulates cell division what are centrosomes centrosomes are the straw like structures in the cell you know the straw cool drink straw friends you will drink cool drinks it will be like this it will it will be like hollow cylinder type straws these set of straws put together forms the centrioles these uh, round shaped straws put together in the round uh, around and forms centrioles friends these forms the centrioles a drum like structure but in plant cells and most fungi this bound this binding will not be seen if it is binded it is called centrioles okay friends and single part is called centrosome Okay, friends. This binding is not seen in the plants and most fungi, friends. Okay, it organizes microtubules, regulates cell division, friends. It regulates. Cell. We have come to the last organelle. It is called plastids. See, plastids are found only in the plant cells. This plastid synthesis fats, proteins, and starch. Plastids are responsible of having DNAs. Okay, friends. DNA. We have seen uh, DNA is found in where, friends? DNA is found in chromatin, that is chromosomes. Again, in mitochondria and in some chloro or chromoplasts. We will see. It contains DNA more or less resembles mitochondria. These 
these can uh, these more or less it is kind of mitochondria mitochondria is present both in plants and animals okay friends and plastids are only find in found in plants the most of the plastids contain pigments on the basis of presence of pigments these are three types so what, what are the characteristics of plastic plastic contains pigments pigments in the sense they they constitute a color okay friends and what are the plastids we can see chloroplast chromoplast and leucoplasts okay what is chloroplast these are we know that uh, chloroplast contains chlorophyll we have seen in the uh, photosynthesis class this chlorophyll is present in the chloroplast it gives chlorophyll is the pigment which gives green which which appears green in color which converts co2 and water into glucose in the presence of sunlight and chlorophyll acts as a catalyst and this is called photosynthesis chloroplast is also known as kitchen of the cell kitchen of the plant cell okay friends as it uh, produces the sugar that is glucose that is energy energy is is produced within the chloroplast so it is called kitchen of the cell or we can say it is a food is prepared in the chloroplast it is bounded by two unit membrane having grana and stroma chloroplast has grana and stroma grana or or membrane bounded sac like structures found in found in sacs arranged in stacks friends see friends this grana is like uh, is our membrane membrane bounded sacs membrane bounded sacs sacs means it will be like something like this some bag like structure okay friends these are arranged in stacks stacks means one above the other very closely placed within the chlorophyll okay friends in granum as it contains granum contains chlorophyll where there is chlorophyll granum is the site of light reaction photolysis okay friends and other other component is stroma stroma is the matrix present inside the chloroplast which contains enzymes and starch starch stroma is the site of dark reaction friends grana is the site of grana is the site of light reaction stroma is the site of dark reaction grana contains chlorophyll and it is arranged in stacks which is bounded by sacs in the same way stroma is the matrix present inside the chloroplast it contains enzymes and starch with this enzymes and starch it gives rise to dark reaction what is dark reaction what is light reaction go to the photosynthesis class and learn okay friends see what is the other plastid we can find we can find chromoplasts these chromoplasts we have discussed in the photosynthesis in a, in a, in a pro, it provides various colors to the plants like so some parts of the plants like flowers fruits have have colors these colors are given by the pigments carrying chromoplasts see for example lyco lycopene tomato has lycopene which gives red color carrot carrot appears orange reddish orange in color due to the presence of carotene betanin is present in beetroot which gives some violet color leucoplasts they are colorless and occur in the plant sex cells and in storage cells see leucoplasts are mainly colorless and storage cells it stores 
food in the form of starch fat and proteins these leucoplasts are found in root and underground stem of the plant through this video we have seen almost 12 to 3, 12 uh, organelles within the cell and its functions okay friends we have seen lysosomes vacuoles golgi complex mitochondria chromatin nucleus ribosomes endoplasmic reticulum sarcoplasmic reticulum nucleoplasm nuclear membrane what is nuclear membrane and what what does it have centrioles cytoplasm plasma membrane and the cell wall which is above this plasma membrane for plant cells okay friends i hope this video has given extensive information and there will be one or two bits from the cell and its cell structure history of cell and the discovery of uh, organelles okay friends i assure that no question will go out of this video whoever have seen this video please download the pdf go to the description box uh, uh, find the fp page and download from there like the like our fp page don't forget to like this video i have give i have put forth so much strain so much pain to make this video and the pdf please friends subscribe to the channel and like this video